Hello everyone. Today I am going to teach you how to make a parallelogram by paper folding activity. You know, there are YouTube's lab manuals and other materials available, but how to make a parallelogram by purely paper folding activity? I will be teaching you using paper folding technique only. So for this, we will take a sheet of paper A4 size and a ruler and two different types of chalks you can take, different colors. So let us proceed. We will roughly divide this paper horizontally into four equal parts by using pencil. You can see four equal parts. These lines are dividing roughly, not by scale. Now, we will fold the paper vertically or along the length side from the middle. To divide the paper into two equal halves vertically, vertically. you can see these two edges overlap the open ends edges so that you can get a proper middle line like this. This is your first fold. This fold will give you a crease. This crease will serve as a line. This is the crease. This fold has given us this crease and we will be able to get a line like this. Along the length from the middle, we have divided the paper into two equal halves. Now, this is our first fold. So, we can write first fold here. You can see first fold. Now, I have kept this open end in my right hand side and I see I have drawn the line to divide the paper into four equal parts. So I fold it from the top line here approximately so that the closed edges, these are the closed edges, they overlap each other perfectly. If they don't overlap each other, this first and this first, these are the closed edges, first one this, second one this. Now they are overlapping each other exactly. It is not like this or not like this either. It is exactly like this, not like this and not like this. These two edges must be in the same line so that this edge will be perpendicular to this edge. Means we will get 90 degree angle over here. Now I have folded it like this, second fold. So I will mark this. Properly I will fold it again. So the single line is formed and I will mark it as second fold. You can see the second fold I have marked here. Now first fold and 
second code. Now I will do like this from the forehead, front like this. And again I see the marked line here. Now I will fold along this line almost. Not exactly but these two edges must be exactly overlapping each other. The closed edges. So that these two edges are perpendicular to this. So we will get a 90 degree angle over here. Again it should not be like this. Or like this. It should be properly like this. Now this is the third fold. We will fold it properly like this. And mark it third fold. The third fold fold we have marked. Now we will give a fold along this direction. From here to here, we will fold it like this. Can you see this? This is our fourth fold. So we write fourth here. Now we will form a perpendicular line over here to this by folding this side, these like this. Leaving one inch at this corner, around one inch. Leave this. And these closed edges must overlap each other perfectly. You can see, leaving one inch approximately, the closed edges are overlapping each other so that this edge is perpendicular to this edge and we get a 90 degree angle over here. Clear students? Now we, we mark here as the fifth fold. This is our fifth fold. We probably fold this like this. Mark it fifth fold. Now, we will fold along this side here, like this. These two edges must overlap each other, the closed edges, so that we have this edge perpendicular to this edge. This edge perpendicular to this edge means these two edges are perpendicular to the common edge. Means together to each other this edge and this edge, this edge and this edge are parallel. This edge and this edge are perpendicular to this edge. So they are both parallel. More issues? Open this, the sixth fold. So we get the sixth fold here, and our Parallel arm is complete. You can see A, B, C, D. Without any instrument, we are able to draw all the lines, all the lines by paper folding method. So we can draw 
we can now mark each fold by the marker first fold in the middle second fold third here second and third fold second and third fold we have done now the fourth fold is this fourth fold fifth fold this one now sixth fold is this one you can see Clearly, you can see the parallelogram A, B, C, D. We'll mark it. Our parallelogram is complete. A, B, C, D. So in this way, you have to make a paper paper paper, paper folding parallelogram, a parallelogram by paper folding activity, without any compass or without any protector. It is only by paper folding method. This is your Ajay sir. Thank you very much. Good luck.